Hey, it's time for Manifesting Monday, and no surprise, the week of Valentine's Day, the lovers is front and center this week, fitting for Valentine's Day. And what's interesting about that is that I think your interpersonal relationships are going to be teaching you lessons about how to connect with others in a way that is important to you and them. But there's more. You also get the opportunity to recognize the gifts you bring to others in a deep and meaningful way, and then experience what it's like to know if those you hold most dear are the right people in your life. The lesson at large, not to diminish those other ones, is learning whether or not you should let go or double down on your investment. So uh, let's take a look at what kind of energy is coming up in the week. The card of the week is the Page of Wands, and you should learn more about what excites you. Let's jump into the signs. Aries, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. Your skills will help you succeed. Taurus, we've got Temperance. Find balance in all all things. Gemini, we got the two of wands, lean into inspiration. Cancer, here's where the lovers show up. Cancer, they're right with you. Focus on your most important relationships this week. Leo, we got the knight of pentacles, focus on your health. Virgo, we got the empress, be guided by your intuition. Libra, ten of swords, acceptance of the end. It's time. And uh, Scorpio, we got the King of Pentacles. This is almost the direct opposite in your zodiac, at least visually. You have all the resources you need. Sagittarius, we got the Page of Cups. Be surprised. So much more to that nuance in that. If you're uh, joining the subscription service I got, which you can do over at comingouttarot.com, I'm moving from Patreon. So uh, check that out. You can get more detail on what Be Surprised means and how you can work with it. Capricorn, we've got the Ace of Swords. Trust your inner knowing. Aquarius, we've got the Devil. Your emotional response is a guiding light. And uh, Pisces, we've got the Four of Swords, Seek Inner Guidance. All right, everybody, I hope that is helpful. How can you work with Manifesting Monday? Well, Monday, we'll take a moment, focus, listen to the guidance for the week, think about the primary card for the week, and then focus in on the card that is for your sun sign, maybe also your moon and your rising, and then apply that advice during the week and see how it goes for you. I'd love to hear how it goes in the comments. Let me know. Thanks, everybody.